After waiting years for a federal interest rate cut in the hopes that it would help lower mortgage rates, aspiring homeowners are now facing even higher mortgage rates. Emma Withrow joins us now from the Fact Check team. Numerous experts that we've heard from, they've said that this increase has to do with the strength of the economy. What are you hearing? Yeah, they've said that, and this is a little bit convoluted here, but the part of the reason why this is happening is because a jobs report showed that many new jobs were added, so that made people think the economy was getting a lot stronger. Stronger. So then investors decided to sell safer things like bonds and instead buy stocks, which then made the 10 year Treasury yield go up. And when that happens, mostly um, most of the time, mortgage rates usually follow that and go up as well. Yeah. And then when the Fed slashed interest rates back in 2020, we saw a quick decline in mortgage rates. You remember many people hopped on that. Home, yeah, yeah. They really, really took advantage. But there are still plenty of examples of rate cuts not lowering mortgage rates. Yeah, and it's definitely happened plenty of times. Um, most recently, back in 2019, the Fed made multiple dramatic interest rate cuts and the short-term lending rates dropped, but mortgage rates just didn't follow suit, mostly due to economic growth expectations and fluctuations in that 10-year Treasury bond that I mentioned earlier. Another example is the 2008 financial crisis. The Fed cut rates so aggressively that they were almost at zero, but mortgage rates still didn't fall, and that had to do with the housing market crisis and lenders' just concerns about credit at risk in general for potential buyers. And I'm also interested in what this means for the housing market as a whole. Emma, Absolutely. thank you. A little later on, Emma will be back to break down why these stubborn mortgage rates are actually causing stagnation in the housing market.